You see, the problem is these tractors aren't moving. These wheels aren't spinning. The rice field should be dry and these tractors should be breaking ground, but instead the fields are a muddy mess. I'm going to give you an update to our 2018 rice planting season, explain how rain helps and hurts, and admit that when it comes to weather, farmers are both beggars and choosers. As we entered March after way less than average rainfall, we begged for rain. We got it. Now in April, grateful and with enough rainfall for 100% water allocation, we can plant rice. But now in order to do so, we need the rain to stop. We need the ground to dry out so we can enter the fields and in a timely manner put in our rice crop. We set April 1st as a benchmark to get this tractor work started. But April 5th and 6th saw a spring storm system dump a few inches of rain across these fields and up to seven inches around the North State. All of our fields were soaked, some of our fields were flooded, and as you can see, most of our fields are still muddy. And this is tragically comedic because on the 4th of April with the ground totally dry and ready to work, we had half our crew scheduled to come in and start breaking ground. And so what an emotional roller coaster of a winter. Look at this 2018 precipitation graph from the Department of Water Resources. The blue dashes indicate the average rainfall per month and yellow bars represents this year's rainfall per month. And look how dramatic these patterns are this year. Nearly double the rainfall in the wetter months and zero rainfall in the drier months. And the peaks and valleys of this graph mirrors our stress meter going into this crop year. No rain. Can we plant? Tons of rain. Yes, we can plant. More rain. We have to wait to plant. More rain on the forecast. Should we start? It's getting late. Maybe we should have started. Other rice farmers have started. What do we do? <sighs> but maybe it's a bit of a good thing that we didn't start breaking ground because doing so would have destroyed our drains and perhaps worst of all left fresh dirt exposed turning the field into a sponge to soak up the rain. In this situation we prefer pools rather than a soak. A pool of water will leave the field through the drains and evaporation. A soaked field takes longer to dry out. This image sums up the year thus far. You see dry cracked dirt under this pool of water. This field had gotten so dry it was all ready to work. But now after rains in April it's back under water. And as I mentioned, some of our lower elevation rice fields got completely flooded, but that wasn't due to localized rainfall, but rather high river and canal flows. The irrigation system that these fields normally drain into got so high that water started backing up and entering into the fields through the fields drains. So we had to rush to put boards into our drain risers to block water from coming in from the drains into our fields, which is completely backwards, right? Because water flows out of the fields into the drains, not into the drains into the fields. What a winter. And all the way down into Sacramento, you could see this impact. I mean, did you see how high the Sacramento River was? I mean, I don't think you could have missed it. And even some low elevation back county roads around our area got completely flooded out, which made for long commutes. But you know, what can we do? Tractors are ready. We just gotta wait, 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 waiting, waiting, waiting. And it looks like a little trickle of rain's gonna come in on the second week of April as well. Mm. So this year's crop year is looking very similar to last year's crop year with late spring rains delaying us into late April. Well, just as it was looking as if the ground was gonna dry out, it decided to rain. We probably won't start working ground until maybe the 20th. Remember I mentioned our benchmark to start is the first? <sighs> but that's okay. When it comes to weather, farmers are beggars and choosers. And I don't mean that to be negative. I just mean that we want it to rain, but now we want it to stop raining. And we can see the overall grand picture of things. Obviously rain is good when coming into a drought situation. We're not complaining. Does it seem like I'm complaining? I hope it doesn't seem like I'm complaining. It's just that I'm restless. That's what it is. It's not complaining, I'm just restless. Bored, you know, bored. I guess what are we gonna do? Everything is ready. I guess make more videos? Eh. I think Elena, Clara, and I are gonna go to Santa Cruz or something. Just enjoy the free time while we have before we start rushing and getting stressed out with actually working.
Hope everyone else is enjoying the rainfall. Certainly fun. Every year is different and it almost changes on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Comment down below. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. Peace.